If you're like me, we're always looking for that perfect camera bag, right? We're never gonna find it because we always need different bags for different things. But I've always been on the search. I like to carry a day backpack that doesn't look like a camera bag. Now I do have the camera bag that looks like one and that is the Manfrotto Pro Light backpack. This is a beast. Look at this bad boy. I put in 20 kgs worth of gear in this thing when I went to uh, Kyoto, Japan a few months back. I think I wanna talk about maybe five, six camera bodies and lenses. I mean, it was insane, right? My back was in pain, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't wanna carry that. So you probably have seen on this channel, I've been using this backpack for the past five years. This is the Gitzo Century backpack. Great backpack, really enjoy it. Top access, side access. No full body access to it, but that's okay. I can fit enough uh, gear in there for you know walking around, taking shots, doing what I need to do during the day, and it doesn't scream camera bag, which I appreciate. And a lot of you ask me about this bag. But over the past couple months, I've been noticing a lot more wear and tear. It's starting to tear right here on the fabric and the Velcro for the partitions, it's not holding anymore. And when that happens, you don't want your gear banging against each other. That was happening to me, so I said, look, I gotta stop using this bag, unfortunately, for camera gear, but I really do enjoy it. Enter the all new Pilot Backpack by Wartencraft. This is an 18 liter backpack. I saw this on a friend of mine, Justin Mott, who's a photographer, also has a great YouTube channel. Check it out, I'll put a link in my description below. I saw it on his Instagram page. I reached out to him, I said, Justin, is this bag legit? And he says, it's really, really good. Because I don't carry a lot of gear with me when I'm just going out to shoot during the day or if I'm doing some video work. I mean, maybe a couple lenses and a body or two at max, right? Maybe a tablet, maybe a laptop but I don't want it to scream camera bag. Now here in Singapore, we're relatively safe, right? But in other parts of the world where you may be living, it may not be that safe. As you see on this bag right here, side, back, there is no branding that looks like a camera bag whatsoever. It just looks like a normal urban day backpack, but you can actually store camera gear in here and it's designed for that. Let's get down to talking about this thing. By the way, Wartencraft did send me this bag to review, but they're not seeing this video in advance. They have no idea what I'm gonna say. These are, as they're seeing it now, you're seeing it. So just want to put that out there. Let's talk about this. It does come in two colors. It comes in a khaki color with brown and also this all black. I went all black. I like stealth. I like to keep it clean. That one looks a little bit more like a hiker's backpack. This looks a bit more urban, but to each their own. So looking at the front of it here, I've got various different attachments. Now you can get a lot of attachments with this bag and I'll tell you how that works. Uh, they sent me these three that come with it real quick. So we've got this main pouch here. And as you're gonna notice, there's a Cordura tab here. Take a look at that. This Cordura tab, if you're not familiar with this material, it's really robust. Um, I ride a motorcycle and some of my jackets and jeans are actually made out of Cordura, so it's abrasion resistant. It's supposed to at least last longer than normal uh, nylon and uh, denim out there, and materials for that matter, and it's made out of this. So I'm guessing the whole entire bag, as well as these pouches are made that way. So. It is really robust. In terms of weather resistance, they said they put this out in the rain and it didn't get the insides wet. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second, that it is sort of protected in that way, especially around the zippers. So I do believe them. I mean, if you're not familiar with Wharton Craft, they're out of Taiwan. They're very much like an artisan bag company. They make beautiful bags. They make them for Bromptons, they make camera bags. A lot of Leica fans love their bags. So. Yeah, I'm, at, I'm excited to have one of them here with me. So let's talk about some of these pouches here for a second. Now this could be a coin pouch. You could put cards in here, whatever you want, or coins. And they're all locked on here on a really cool locking mechanism. Let me just push on this clip. It opens up, comes out, lock it that way. And there's different loops here so you can actually attach it to wherever you want on the bag. And if you wanna put it back on, just click, pinch that, slide it in, push it together, you're good to go. But no one's gonna be able to pull that off. This is really, really robust, okay? This is really strong, so don't worry about that whatsoever. Now, they're calling this a coin pouch on the website, but to me, this is perfect for an ND filter, a CPL. I mean, this is 82 millimeters, and it fits in there beautifully. Like, it was made for that, as a matter of fact. Also has the same locking mechanism as this one does. Now, this one is a little bit bigger, and inside of this, I've got two things because I actually just went on a shoot the other day. This is my H&Y revolver ring because I do different, use different size uh, lenses and so it's sort of an adapter for my, my ND filters. I shoot with the Z9 primarily for video. And then inside this, I've got the Canon V10 vlogging camera. So one craft is saying you can put two DSLR bodies in there and five lenses max. We'll talk about that in just a second, but you probably could put a little bit more if you're going cameras this size. 
By the way, review coming on this very soon. I kind of like this, it's very, very cool. You can even hang more stuff here if you want because it has those loops there. Same locking mechanism. Actually, there's two right there to keep this even more secure to the bag. And there you have it. Moving uh, to the top area here, we have a Fidlock magnetic lock here. Very easy to take off and on, but you know, the average person, they try to pull it, it's not gonna come off. Just slide it up to open it up. And then inside, we've got some gear there. I'll show you what's inside in just a second. We'll talk about storage capacity. Moving to the back here real quick, we've got very good padded straps. Padded straps are important, especially when you're carrying a lot of heavy camera gear, and these feel really good. A Little bit of wicking material right there, so if you're in a hot climate like us in Singapore, it's hot and humid year round. This feels really nice. You got a little bit of their Wharton Craft logo right here. It feels like it's leather, but that's the only logo I see on this bag, and as a matter of fact, it's in Mandarin uh, characters, if I'm not mistaken. Also have that uh, strap and click, so if you wanna go across the chest, you can do that with this bag. And also you have it down here, there's a padding here for the waist and we have the waist strap as well. Now what's cool about this waist strap is, is that you actually have Velcro here. So the Velcro attaches inside here and it stays secure. I take it out because I don't use waist straps a lot unless I'm going on a long trip, I'm carrying a lot of heavy gear. So the fact that you can actually take it out and not have to tuck it in, I appreciate that. But this is all padded, very wicked, really good for our hot, humid climates here and nice sort of uh, channeling here to get some airflow. Moving to the side here, we've got two side access areas, YKK zippers. It looks like it's weather resistant in terms of the covering around the zipper areas. These loops again, so if you want to attach anything to the side of it, like these pouches or anything else, you can do that. Pockets that are really strong, good elastic on this, bounces right back into shape, feels really good. The same on this side here. So you got your tripod here and you can pop it in there. Again, the elastic feels really good on that. And you got another access here for the side panel. So that's it for this side. Now, there is another access compartment here. By the way, big thanks to Woodencraft. They did send this with my initials on it, so I greatly appreciate it. A little bit of a leather tag. You can get that on their website as well if you order it. And it's kind of like a keychain lock there put on the zipper. You zip that down, you have more access inside here. This is not, by the way, this is not a bag that you can have full access to all your gear, okay? You have top and side access, very similar to the Gitso. I've got this large cable, uh, HDMI cable here because I was doing a presentation the other day, but you could store clothes in there if you want, day trip, whatever, pants, shirt. Um, and it is, if you notice the material real quick here, this kind of material, so you can tell that it is somewhat rain resistant, weather resistant here. Very strong, very durable, and it's gonna keep that water out, which is good. So let's talk about what's inside the top of this. So for me, I actually have in it right now, the Leica SL2S with the 50 millimeter Summicron. This is what it looks like on the top area here. So you have two partitions on each side, so you can put lenses or body here. When I put this in here, I actually have to push the partitions on each side, okay? I have to push them on each side there to get the camera in there because this is kind of a large camera. Kind of hard to do this when I'm looking at the camera doing this with you guys, but it is easier when you do it on your own. Now, if you're running a Sony camera or a smaller, let's say Leica M camera, you're gonna have no issues at all. You probably can put even more bodies and more lenses, but when you're going to, so let's say, something this size and the SL2S is quite large considering for mirrorless camera systems, you're gonna have uh, come across that issue. By the way, if I'm using the Z9, which I'm shooting on right now, yeah, it's gonna be a very tight fit. But Z7, Z6, yes, no problem at all with that. So also here is where the laptop goes. Like a lot of camera bags where it's on the outside of the bag where you zip and open up, it's actually inside here. And I am reusing the 16 inch MacBook Pro M1 Max and it fits in perfectly. So if you're worried about that, do not be MacBook Air people to iPad people. You're gonna be all good. It's padded in here, really comfortable, really robust, and I, yeah, no issues at all with that. So, and it's well protected. So I guess you could say there's a pro to this because, you know, if you have the zipper on the outside of it, people may think you have a laptop, at least with this, they're not gonna know you have a laptop inside your bag. Also, we have a little bit of another zipper pouch here. So if you wanna store cables or sunglasses, we'll move this camera out of the way. You can put them in there, all good. And by the way, I think looking at their website as well, there's other partitions or other pieces you can Velcro inside of here, more pouches, I guess, for storage if you wanna do that way. So you don't have to use this as a camera bag, by the way, you can use this as a normal bag, but I mean, it is designed for cameras. Going to side access here. So let's go to this side here real quick. So I actually have in here the Lumix 24 to 70 f 2.8 big lens and it is inside this side of the bag. Now, I wanna show you, this is similar to on each side and you'll get to see this real quick. There's this sort of like hard backing, um, I don't know what it is, 
it's like got elastic straps on it. I guess you could put cables in there or batteries or whatever have you. You can take this out, it is Velcro, but the Velcro is really strong on this thing. So if you're worried about that, do not be. Um, you also have this little mini flap. This flap gives you a little bit of a partition there. It just kind of flaps around. Here's the thing though, when you're storing a lens like this inside of there, you're not gonna be able to access that other side of the flap. I mean, this lens takes up the entire part of this bag. Now, if I was to put it in this way, it's right at the edge, you know what I mean? I gotta push the middle partition in as far as I can go. I guess you can put it in there, but because there's no partition on the top here, you lose a little bit of that. Can you take this partition out? I guess you can probably play around with the partitions a little bit, but again, it's, I would have liked to have seen maybe another partition that was horizontal this way so you can put two lenses. This, this makes more sense than this way because you kind of lose more storage, but to each their own. When OneCraft is saying, you know, two bodies, five lenses, I don't know exactly what they're using to make that happen. From my experience, I'm not able to fit that much, but again, this is a day bag where I'm gonna carry maybe two lenses and a body at the most. If I do carry two bodies, they're probably gonna be, let's say, one M film camera, one digital camera, then I'll be okay, but uh, keep that in mind. Also, you have a little bit of a pouch here. And this middle partition you can take out, by the way, it is Velcroed in there, but it's, it's really strong. You can pop it out and move it around. But the thing with these partitions or any camera bag for that matter is once you start taking partitions in and out in these kind of bags like this, it's really hard to get back to how the, the manufacturer did it, at least in my experience. And sometimes when you keep pulling the stuff in and out, in and out, you lose that strength of the Velcro over time. Now on this side is very similar to that side, but there is no middle flap for your um, partition. It's just a straight pocket that's deep inside. I like the looks of it. Uh, to be honest with you, the material, the quality of construction, the build is just awesome. It really feels robust. And I think a lot of you out there that are looking for a really good backpack, this, I mean, this is gonna cost a little bit more money than the standard backpack out there. I mean, this is an artisan's backpack, but it's gonna last you for a longer period of time. The hard part for me is gonna be the storage. And because sometimes I do like to carry a 70 to 200 or 100 to 400 lens if I'm going to the zoo or I'm gonna you know, do some cycling photos and I need something with longer reach. I, with the Leica 100 to 400, I was playing with that over the weekend. I wasn't able to put that in this bag without having to really remove stuff in the inside of that. And when I do, that means I'm losing space for other gear. And that's a little bit of a downside on that. Now, maybe Wartencraft will come out with another, you know, some smaller partitions you can put in there to sort of play around with it. But as it stands right now, to me, it seems to be designed for more smaller uh, lenses and smaller uh, mirrorless camera systems. Like AM users, you're gonna love this bag. You're gonna absolutely love it because it's gonna fit, you know, a few M bodies in there, lenses, no issues at all with that. When you get into the mirrorless side of things, that's where it gets a little bit challenging, but I think for a day bag, it's gonna be great for most of you out there. And by the way, let me just put this on here. I'm in my studio, but just to kind of give you an idea, I'm 1.83, six feet, so yeah, this is me with the backpack, not looking the ultimate position, but you know, it fits really good on me. It looks good, it feels good. I ride a motorcycle with this, it stays on securely, especially with the straps on it, no issues at all with that. I absolutely love it. There's a lot of adjustment in this as well. You can adjust down here, you can adjust on the strap area. There's a lot of play, a lot of uh, customization on there. I just wish there was a little bit more when it comes to the partitions on the side. Anyway guys, that's it. Those are my thoughts on this all new Wharton Craft, the Pilot Backpack 18 liters. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Does the fact that you can't put longer lenses in this gonna turn you off? Or are you okay with it? Love to hear from you guys. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, helps me out a lot. Trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by September. Let's see if I can do that with your help. Take care, stay safe, and I'll chat to you soon.